catch you up on what exactly happened. So yesterday, Tesla dropped the price of the full self-driving subscription for Tesla vehicles all the way down to $99 a month. It was $199 before that, and then now it is down to $99 a month. No commitment. You can cancel at any time, which is the best part about this. You could sign up, drive for a month, do a bunch of road trips, and you can cancel it right after that. So this is a fantastic deal for people that have not, or that already did their trial for their one month trial and want to try and keep Tesla full self driving for a long time after that. And really it's a great deal for anybody that does not keep their Tesla past five years because five years at $100 a month, that's 60 months, that's $6,000, which is half the price of Tesla full self driving right now at $12,000. But maybe there was something in here or in something in this announcement that we might have missed. And that first thing onto why they might be killing full self-driving is maybe they're taking away, not killing full self-driving, but killing the price of full self-driving because maybe it potentially could be that Tesla could be removing the $12,000 option because no one in their right mind is going to plunk $12,000 because you really have to keep the car for like 10 years then to keep a Tesla for 10 years. It just doesn't make any sort of worth in terms of the investment to actually do that. So really going at $100 a month is a much better financial decision versus paying upfront full self-driving for 10 years. Unless you really feel like the value of the full self-driving is going to stay with the vehicle. But even in the secondhand market, full self-driving is really only worth like two to $3,000. So there could be a case made there where if you keep your car for eight years or seven years and you resell it because it has an enhanced value, then maybe it's worth it but really the hundred dollar mark is really where, where it's going to be but here's a quick post from christopher dungeon thank you chris for posting it and this is an interesting quote it says going forward everyone pays 99 dollar a month this last sentence is difficult for me to process this does not mean prices will stay static for forever what is it what it does mean is that 99 percent of s users will pay 99 a month instead of going forward with the 12k upfront option but there could be a chance here that Tesla removes the 12k option and really just sticks with the $99 a month period or $99 a month pricing but then really like what if that changes what if Tesla increases the prices of that as well as well so maybe this $12,000 option is really not going away but check out this poll shout out to Yaman value analyst he put a poll out there what will happen to full self driving's price keep it the same $12,000 cut it to seven to $12,000 cut it lower than $7,000 or an overwhelming over 44%. I know it's only 268 votes, but 44% that said that they will remove the pricing option because the take rate probably on that full self-driving $12,000 is probably not really that high. And so we could see a removal if people gravitate to the $99 a month option. So it really could be an interesting move. On top of that, here's another post for Sorry Merit. News as of today, Tesla is no longer allowing free full self-driving transfers. That was a promotion where if you had full self-driving on your older vehicle, you could transfer it to a brand new vehicle, but it seems like that is all also an ending to this promotion as well. So a lot of different interesting things coming on from the full self-driving period or space. And so really we could see in terms of like Tesla's killing it because they're lowering the price down to $99 and no one's going to spend that $12,000. But we could also see that maybe Tesla's strategy here is to just get as many subscriptions as possible and just kill the $12,000 option altogether. Because you can go to teslas.com website right now and you can build vehicles model 3 model i s and x and at the moment you can still you can still add full self-driving for the massive twelve thousand dollars so maybe in the future they're going to change this but very interesting to see that uh, they drop the price it's probably really interesting to see what type of take rate they're actually getting now i mean i've certainly thought of it but let me know what you think are you going to subscribe for it after a free trial or are you just going to subscribe to it anyway to try the latest and greatest it is a really cool technology and it finally is to a certain point where I can say it is definitely good or decent now. It's come a long way for sure. You still have to supervise it or monitor it, but still it has came a long way. But let me know what your thoughts are.